If you're in an abusive relationship, you need to realize that it's all about control. An abusive person wants to maintain control by any means necessary. That means sometimes they'll even use things like pity or, or apologies to try to maintain your control. They'll make a, a fake apology without actually making any changes. Sometimes they'll use more aggressive ways like fear and intimidation, but it's all about control. And if you realize it's really all about control, that means that the best thing you can do is take a step of independence. And that way, it's very similar to the relationship between King Saul and David. King Saul was the, the first king of Israel. We read about him in the Old Testament. And he was really an abusive leader. And for him, it was all about maintaining control. And he saw David as a threat to his power and control. And so what he did was he, he got David closer to him. He had David marry one of his daughters so that he could have him close and maintain control. Then he made David one of the leaders in his army so that he could put him in dangerous battles. Finally, uh, one day he threw a spear at David, just trying to take his life. And then Saul apologized and said he would never do again, that he was a changed man, but David knew better. So one day when David was invited to a banquet, he didn't show up. He took a step of independence. He didn't listen to all of Saul's demands and it actually saved his life. If you're in a, an abusive relationship, it'd be important to follow David's example and take a step of independence. Maybe that means you don't respond to a text. Maybe that means that you go and stay with a family member or friend. Maybe that means you call the authorities in an escalated situation. But whatever it is, you need to realize that you need to take a step of independence. You need to take a step of control. Get back some of your own control. Uh, if you're feeling afraid or vulnerable or, or weak, I think it'd be good for you to read what David wrote when he was facing his abuser, Saul. He wrote this in Psalm 18. I'd encourage you to read the whole Psalm, but I'll just read a few selected verses. He said this, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of, of salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I've been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place he rescued me because he delighted in me. That's what David prayed when he was facing his abuser and his persecutor, Saul. And that's what you can pray to. You see, God is on your side. God is grieved by the abuse that you are suffering. In fact, Jesus himself experienced similar abuse. He was tortured, he was stripped, and he was killed. And so you have a God who can sympathize with you in your suffering. And yet now is the time to take a step of independence. Trust on the Lord that he'll be with you and take that small step to gain back some of control. Let's pray. Lord God, I pray that you would be with everyone who is in an abusive situation. Lead them to take wise steps of independence to gain back some of their control. In your name we pray, amen. If you or someone you know is suffering from abuse, there is help. Please visit our resources at timeofgrace.org slash abuse. Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here from Time of Grace. Hey, thanks so much for taking your time to listen to this message. We would love so many other people to hear about this message too. So if you could think of someone in your mind right now that could use this, we would love for you just to take a moment and share it. 
Um, that's essentially how people hear the good news of Jesus, believe it, and find eternal life in his name. Thanks for sharing and have a great day.